Well, hello, YouTube. It's me, Tri-State, EDC, with a plethora. A pl yeah, I said it. Plethora. Don't correct me. Of EMP EDC knives. I love EMP EDC knives. I have a lot of them. I have a lot of them. Seven? Eight? I don't know. But this is a package for me and PDC. A mystery package. And Lord Jehovah, are we going to open this thing up? Right now. That's right. Mystery package from John and Jamie. John, Jamie, hi, I love you, miss you. Uh, EMPDC, baby. In the little little black sack. Sounds kind of kinky. We're gonna... We'll use the Tonto. This is the uh, the newest uh, EMPDC I have. The Nimble T2, not Terminator 2. Tonto 2. To Nimble Tonto 2, T2. Slice, dice, she does it all. Hello? 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 Let me, uh, let me in there. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah. And we have a box. Nothing left in there. Goodbye. So, we got the EMPDC box. This seems bigger than what I'm used to. It has been a while. I mean, it is. It's bigger than the uh, usual EMPDC box. But, is bigger better? I don't know. I have a pretty good idea what's in here. Uh, <laughs> I have a pretty good idea. Because there's only one thing coming soon, baby. So let's get a money shot out of this. Aggressive money shot. And I approve. Love that. Give, give it, give it, give it. Box out of the way here. Nice EMPDC pouch with the Adam Man. Cruising. Cruising through the, the, the multiverse. I don't know what he's doing. What do we have? Yeah. Uh-huh. First off, favorite snack. Little card. Little sticker, some more stickers, and this, oh, oh, dude. Oh, I've been dying. I've been dying. I've been waiting. I've been dying. I've been lusting. I've been lusting. This is the EMP EDC Pulse OTF. Now, let me get it. I got to get the throwback. This was the very first EMP EDC knife I ever bought, or the first knife I ever bought from EMP EDC. This is technically not an EMP EDC knife. It's a uh, Fat Dragon design. It's the Slenderman OTF. And uh, I was one of the first YouTubers to ever review this knife um, and call it an EMPDC knife, which it wasn't. But the, but John did do a bunch of different versions and collaborations with this knife. They did the uh, the fancy S35VN versions and the crazy uh, Warncliffe variants. And it's still, to this day, one of my favorite OTFs. I don't ha I have sold all my Microtechs. I've uh, given away most of my Axial gear. I love Axial knives. I have one left, and I plan on getting more in the future. Love them. Links for them down below. But I, this one has never gone away. And I don't think it ever will. I just love it too much. But, uh, yeah. So that's where it all began. This was the first knife ever. And this is the latest. This is the EMP EDC Pulse. First off, a thick boy. This is a girthy boy, dude. Real wide. Love the texturing all along. Nice uh, tactile texturing there. A nice smooth ass end without a glass breaker. I really don't like glass breakers on OTFs. I think it looks tacky. And am I ever... Am I ever... Look at me. Do you think I'm blowing out car windows for for funsies? No. I might second guess my life decisions if I ever drive into the Ohio River. But I don't plan on doing that uh, We anytime soon. I don't plan on it. I don't think anybody plans on it. But we have the uh, very nice machined... Aluminum. Everything's aluminum, by the way. Pocket clip is... Well, this isn't going to tell me. Future me, is the pocket clip titanium or is it aluminum as well? I think it's titanium. But we have the grooves that perfectly match the pattern. So kudos. Best tech, by the way, is the OEM on this. Kudos to them for really nailing that. We looks like we have a flat section directly underneath the clip right here. So that we don't have any snags coming in and out of the pocket. Super lightweight, again, aluminum, 6T8, 6T8 screws, holding it all together. Got the Atom Man here on the big uh, flat circle, flat circle, flat earth, flat earthers. It's nice. It's very nice. Tolerances are good. Zero rattle when closed, which is big for me. I hate an OTF that rattles when it's closed. That's solid. Uh, best tech, man. Freaking best tech. 
a little bit of lube under the switch, it looks like. Uh, real quick, before we open it, I know you guys are freaking out, like, open the knife, open the knife! Size comparison. Here's a, uh, Tactile Knife Co. Rock Wall. Yeah, bigger than that. Where is my Spider Co. Pair 3? I don't know. It's gone forever. Like, it doesn't exist. It's not real. The Spider Co. PM2. Warning. Oops. Yeah, so in between, a pair of three size, I'd say. You yeah, know? I made a mess. Forgive me, I'm a little excited. I'm a little excitable today. Christ! So yeah, call it, you know, thick, very thick, but not crazy long. You know, I like it. Uh, a little bit longer than the OG Nimble, but about the same size width-wise. It's a girthy boy. Don't, you know, don't get it twisted. Well, let's open this thing up. I'll shut up. Oh! Oh! And it's belt satin, dude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so what you're looking at there is a Warncliffe and a damn aggressive one. Uh, almost cleaverish, but I'm going to call it a Warny. Hollow ground, belt satin, and I believe, future me, I may not need you for this one, in Magna Cut. In Magna Cut. Would you just behold? And we still have that signature deployment groove on the deployment hole on the blade, even though we don't need it. It just matches, man. All the action. The ramp. The ramp here, the thumb ramp on the switch is perfect. Buttery smooth actuation. Like, little to no effort. Little to no effort. Man, that's good. So, Ergo's in hand. Yeah, it's a big rectangle. Um, we have really nice jimping out here on the blade spine. Very nice. Super grippy. So, thumb lands here. Super locked in. Full-size knife. So, if I choke up, I got a couple inches out the ass in there. Choke back. Feels great. Thumb on that jimping. Feels excellent. No forward finger choil. Don't need it. It's no TF, but I can get right here. No issues. Can I pinch grip it? Honestly, thanks to the uh, the deployment grooves, which don't really serve a purpose other than looks, the pinch grip? All day. You pinch right into those grooves. Finger out here on the uh, eh, the little tip of the swedge here. Yeah. Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Please, sir, may I have another, sir? Thank you, sir. Wow. Yeah, pinch grip all day. On an OTF, which is rare. Not many people pinch grip in OTFs, but, you know, look, I'm, I'm feeling frisky. It's a Saturday night, after all. Great looking knife. Blade to handle's a little wonky, but it's an OTF. I think all OTFs have really weird blade to handle ratios, but this is better than most. We have a big blocky handle and a big blocky blade. God, it's good looking, though. Action is just absurdly smooth. Again, it's been a long time, but I've reviewed Microtex and Axial Gears um, and Slendermans and all. I've, I've reviewed all kinds of OTFs, um, but this is just effortless on the switch. Nice and smooth. No grit. Crazy spring. I mean, it It wants to jerk out of my hand. If it wasn't for all that texturing, it, it, it goes shooting across the room, I feel like. Makes a great noise, but effortless. Like, I no finger pain at all. The ramp is perfect. Like, even on this old Slender Man that's really well broken in, it takes some doing. I get, like, a hot spot here in my palm, but this, everything's so soft in the hand when you're actuating it. <laughs> and there's so much weight on that blade that it's like, eh, 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 every time I open it up. God bless. Acoustics are just nuts. Listen to this. Sounds like a gun going off. My poor microphone, dude. Yeah, that's stupid. Great, great noise. Lock up, a little bit of wiggle room, side to side, a tiny, tiny bit up and down. But no more than literally any other OTF on the market. So I'm really not concerned. Yeah, yeah, I love it. I played with this all the entire duration of Blade Show in Atlanta this year. This was like the new prototype we were showing off. Uh, I love it. I'm obsessed with it. I'm so, so glad I got to see this a little bit early. I've been dying. I've missed this knife so much since we left Blade Shell. Uh, and I am so happy to finally have it. I will be carrying this tomorrow. We will talk about this on live streams. There will be links to this down below. Drop date is the 4th, November 4th, a Saturday. I will leave details and links down below where you can pick one of these up. Uh, I think it's a drop. I'm, it is not a pre-order. I'm almost positive it's a drop. Uh, so good on Johnny Boy for doing a drop as opposed to a pre-order. Drops are just more fun because you get them right away. You know what I mean? You get them sooner. You don't have to wait three months. Yeah.
Somebody's shooting off fireworks at 8.30 on a Saturday. Anyway, let's cut something. Okay, all I have is this travel magazine. I don't know where my, uh, where my phone book is. My office is a bit of a mess right now. But, Hollow Ground, Warrencliffe, Magna Cut. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Here's another thing that really bothers me about a lot of OTFs. Is usually the blade's really, sh really short. Like, real thin. And uh, I use guided sharpening systems. And the clamps really struggle with this. You cannot, with the really short, small blades, there's just not enough distance between where you clamp and the edge to get a, an accurate angle or to sharpen it at all. This is a full-size blade. This would be a breeze in a guided system, and I really appreciate that. But as out of the box, you're not going to need a guided system for a while. You know? I'm curious what the uh, heat treat on this magnet cut is. I want to say Best Tech's been doing a pretty solid job with it. God knows they're doing a killer job with that factory edge, you know. I'm not, I gotta tell you, I'm not an OTF guy. I'm not a big OTF guy, but every once in a while, you know, I'm pumped. I'm pumped to see it. I'm pumped John is back in the OTF game right where he started. It's sick. Nice sharpening, sharpening choil too, which is something you don't see a lot as well on OTFs. I love it. I love it. Top to bottom. I love the blade. I love the blade steel. I love the looks. I love the lines. I'll be carrying the piss out of this thing. But that is it for me. Again, links down below, November 4th. Don't miss the drop. I will link everything down below. It's sick. The MPDC Pulse. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. That is it for me. So until next time, thank you all oh so very much for watching. Subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment down below. Uh, Patreon, Instagram, uh, TikTok, uh, uh, Threads. Become a channel member. Why not? That's it. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye now.